Hi and welcome back to TechNut. In this quick video, we'll have a look at running Hyper-V on your client OS, Windows 8 or Windows 10. First off, in order to run Hyper-V on your client OS, you need to run a Pro or Enterprise edition of Windows. The supported versions of Windows are Windows 8 and Windows 10. In this case, we'll be showing you Windows 10. However, the steps are exactly the same for Windows 8 or 8.1. Start by opening up the control panel. Open up programs and features. And select turn Windows features on and off. Expand the Hyper-V section. In our case, Hyper-V platform is grayed out. This is likely caused by the option virtualization being disabled in your BIOS. To fix this, go into your BIOS and change the setting. As you can see, after restarting, the option is no longer grayed out. On my Asus motherboard, I had to go into the tab Advanced, CPU Configuration and enable Intel Virtualization Technology. On other motherboards, however, the settings might be different. So we're going to check the box for Hyper-V and click OK. The installation will now run. This goes through fairly quickly on my client. And now we'll have to restart the computer. After restarting, the Hyper-V Manager should be available in the Start menu. If you open it up, it will automatically connect to your host. To allow your virtual machines to connect to the internet, we need to create a virtual switch. Open the Virtual Switch Manager, select External, and click Create. Give the switch a name, select the network card to use, and make sure that the box is ticked to allow your management OS to use the internet adapter. Click OK. You get a warning that your network will be disconnected. I'm going to go ahead. As you can see in the corner, we're disconnected. And we're back online. We're now ready to create our virtual machine. Go into New, select Virtual Machine. I click Next, and specify the name. I'm just going to call this one Test. On this page, we'll be specifying the generation of our virtual machine. If you're using a modern OS like Server 2012 or Windows 8 or later, select Generation number 2. Otherwise, select Generation 1. Assign memory to the virtual machine. We're given our 2 gigs of RAM and we're not going to use dynamic memory. Select your virtual switch to connect the machine to the internet. Specify the properties for your virtual hard drive. We're not going to change anything here. And now we're going to specify where to install the OS from. I have an ISO file on my desktop, so I'm going to use that. Click Next and Finish. Your machine is now created. We're going to double click the virtual machine and click the power button to start it up. Click a button and as you can see, we're now booting into the Windows installation. And it's not harder than that. You now have Hyper-V running on your client OS. If you need some inspiration or guidance for setting up virtual machines, check out our channel. We have plenty of more videos. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.